This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Gym Marbella. We're in Sheffield here for the announcement of uh, Kel Brook versus Jojo Dan, 28th of March. Fighting on the undercard, Mr. Adam Etches against Sergei Kamitsky. How are you, Adam? I'm alright, thanks. Cool. You alright, pal? All good. All, all good, good in the hood. All good in the hood. Well, what a test this is for you. Kamitsky. We're obviously very aware, uh, the British public, about Kamitsky. Um, performances over with Martin Murray and obviously his notable win over Frank Bullioni uh, but you're confident you can go out there and do a job on Kamitsky? Of course you know I think I can whoever's put in front of me I think I can beat um, I don't need to go on about how good Kamitsky is what he's done I think everybody knows um, what he's done and where he's been and who he's fought so you know I'm just concentrating on going in there and getting the job done. Is this the right time after, what, 18 fights you've had now? Yeah. Is this the right sort of time for this sort of step up now? I think so, yeah, you know, you can't, you can't be hanging around doing six rounders and easy fights all, all your life. Um, you've, got to, you've got to make that step up going forward. And, you know, my last couple of fights I've stepped up, but I think this guy will, will prove what, what level I'm actually at. Your manager, Richard Poxon, described you as the most exciting middleweight uh, in the country, which is quite a big statement because there are some very good middleweights in this country. Yeah, there's some brilliant middleweights, there's some brilliant fighters in all kinds of weights, but you know, there's very few people that when they hit them, they put someone to sleep. And I, w I would say that's what I've, well, that's what I have been doing for my past 18 fights. 15 of them have finished early, and one of them, one of them, what's gone to points, I've had, I broke broke one of my hands, so I can punch people like that um, but you know it's not all about being able to punch you've got to be able to box as well but I think people are paying the money that's what they want to come and see they want to see, they want to see some excitement How do you rate yourself within the middleweight division domestically? Obviously there is the likes of Ryder, Saunders, Eubank obviously Macklin's still around and, and Martin Murray where do you put yourself amongst them? I think I'm best one of them all um, you know people probably look at this and, and say no you're not there's no way you can, but I think this Kamitsky fight will be a, will be a good test. You know, he's drawn to, he's drawn to Nick Blackwell. Um, he's lost to Martin Murray off a, by a couple of points. Who's many people say is the best middleweight in Britain. So after this fight, I reckon it's a good gauge, and everyone else will be able to make their own mind up who the best middleweight is. Obviously. You've got your, your test in hand on March the 28th, but I mean, I remember a couple of years ago or a year and a half ago where you were calling out a Chris Eubank fight and obviously he fought Billy Joe Saunders. Did you watch that fight? Yeah, I watched it. And what did you make of it? I just, I thought um, it, Eubank's in, inexperience lost him the fight, but I think there were no, he had no case to say that he won the fight, but you know, it were a fairly close fight. Still a fight you fancy? I still still fight him, but now nah, it's took the edge off. You know, he's been beat. Um, Billy Billy Joe's a better fight for me now than what um, Eubank is. All I want to do is become a world champion. And you know, if Eubank fight uh, Saunders fights Andy Lee, he'll be world champion. And that's a, that's a, a fight out there. You know, later down the line that I'll, I'd like to take. What is the ultimate plan for you 2015? Is it a domestic route or are you going to try and get yourself higher up in the rankings? I'll, I'll leave all that to Richard. All I do is get in there and whoever's put in front of me, knock them down. And that's what, that's what I'm going to carry on doing. But like I said, my ultimate goal and Richard's ultimate goal is for me to become a world champion. So whichever path and route we have to take, that's what we'll do. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, Adam Etches, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Best of luck in your, the rest of your camp leading up to 28th, not too long away, a couple of months away. And uh, you're there. Yeah, cheers. Do you want to say anything else? Yeah, send my uh, regards to James, the, the other um, IFL TV man. Oh, it's very, very we'll noble of you. Miss him, he should be here. He should be, but I'm here. So you, you've got the short straw, as, they, as Richard would say. Well, well, I can't comment on that. I can't say anything. No, because I won't put the thing out. <laughs> 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 all right, listen, we'll catch up with you nearer the time to the 28th anyway, all right? Cheers. Best of luck.